Consequently, today we have a disorganized people and we have been infected by different social vices from drug addiction, corruption, armed robbery, violent crimes, kidnapping, cattle rustling. All these are symptoms of a society that has abandoned its culture. Everywhere in the world, developed nations still preserve their culture. The English people today continue to preserve their cultural heritage. They speak English. In France, they preserve their culture with their language, the French language. In Russia, they preserve their heritage with their language, the Russian language. So also in German, so also in China, so also in South Korea, so also in Malaysia, all over the world. The only confused nations of the world are nations of Africa. The confusion is so monumental that we even cannot distinguish between our culture and religion. It is this confusion that gives birth to corruption. It is this confusion that has also given birth to kidnapping. It is this confusion that led to leaders neglecting the development of youth. If we were living by our culture, how on earth could leaders demonstrate this disgraceful attitude of living in affluence living in affluence with their children and families where they belong to societies we are people for so many years are still suffering this is because we have drawn a very wide line between our people we live like europeans while our people live like nigerians that god must be preached we must revive our culture we must preserve our culture. We must project it. We must advance everything that is positive with our culture. This is the best way for Nigeria to go. I am a Tarog man. I have no apology for that. Even in heaven, if given the opportunity, I will still want to be a Tarog angel. That is Burman. That is Burman. To our guests, we thank you sincerely for coming. Nigeria has advanced towards election. Politicians must conduct themselves honestly. We must refrain from campaigns of deceit. We must refrain from division. We must refrain from making promises which we cannot fulfill. We must refrain from influencing our youth to be violent during election. We must go into the election peacefully and elect credible leaders of our choice to manage the affairs of our society. To the Tarong people, we must remain united. We must remain focused. We must have an agenda in this federation called Nigeria. There is no community that has no agenda. We must develop our own agenda and be able to pursue our agenda within the federation unit called, within the federation called Nigeria. It is only by so doing that we can make progress. Let us live peacefully with our neighbors and let us live peacefully with everybody. Let's love everybody. Let us also love all our neighbors. Let us live with them in peace and also walk with them in peace. It is my prayer that God in his infinite mercy will grant Nigeria a peaceful election in 2019. Amen. God bless Nigeria. Amen.